hello toastmasters welcome to the online meeting of speakers community toastmaster club i am pleased to be your sergeant at arms for today's meeting in the online meeting environment there are few instructions that we follow i request you to rename yourselves all toastmasters can prefix tm to your name and guest can prefix guest i also request all the speakers and role holders to prefix their role to their name so that's easy to identify them i give you 10 seconds for this activity all speakers are requested to do a quick audio and video check before they start their speech tech host will confirm on the settings i would request you not to type in the chat box when a speaker is speaking as it disturbs the speaker you can use the private chat to provide feedback you are all requested to keep your audio on mute in case you are not speaking please refrain from unnecessary movements or sipping on drinks if your video is on please turn off the video in case you need to do so do not click on share screen unless your speech or role requires you to do so you can display a high five or namaste when taking over or leaving from a role you can connect with the tech master for any technical glitch the tech master for today's meeting is toastmaster monica if you are speaker then please ensure you pin the timer or confirm that the same is visible at all times this meeting is being recorded in case you have any reservations please let us know you can network during the break and after the meeting let me share the mission of the club we provide a supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills resulting in greater self confidence and personal growth now i introduce presiding officer toastmaster kalpana a dynamic speaker seasoned negotiator and a person who is always there to guide us i welcome the presiding officer toastmaster kalpana to take you through the further proceedings thank you thank you so much toastmaster kishore a huge round of applause to our sir he has just take, taken charge last week has joined us very recently and is already on the learning path of public speaking so today let me just tell you about what toastmaster is gearing up for toastmaster is gearing up for eloquence eloquence is an annual competition that happens its finale is somewhere in april but in march we will be beginning all the preliminaries ipl of table topics is one i want each and every member to know as soon as the link is shared that they are to attend and see the show that happens it is a sight to watch second is kahani 2.0 kahani 2 kahani 1 has already been concluded and kahani 2 is a wonderful feat unfolding especially if you are a storyteller a story reader and if you want to go down to your childhood you know where your parents and teachers always entertained you with some anecdotes that was a story toastmasters has also launched its march magazine actually i don't know how many of my newcomers and new members are aware of it but let me tell you these magazines has a lot of information it starts with the journey of any toastmasters you yourself can contribute to the article and write down your experiences you can write down if you are a traveler or a blogger or if you are a poet anything that you feel will fit the toastmasters magazine i encourage each and every one of you to contribute to the magazine and of course read the magazine because reading this magazine will give you an insight into the huge organization and the people and the toastmasters who you are now a part of 
and their thoughts and ideas to take you forward on your journey in Toastmasters. Today, actually, I'm very happy and proud as my club is on the curve of ensuring that new members join us. Today, I have among us Toastmaster Shubham. Toastmaster Shubham Kaushing. I, I request each and everyone to welcome him with a huge applause. Toastmaster Shubham, can you switch on your camera and tell a hi to all of us? Toastmaster Shubham. Toastmaster Hello, Shubham. everyone. Thank you, ma'am, for your <laughs> wonderful words of appreciation. You're welcome. You're welcome. And wishing you a very happy learning curve at Toastmasters. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Hi, Shubham. This is Sanjeev, and I welcome you all as a new member. Fantastic, Sanjeev. That thank you, is, Sanjeev. Thank you. Now, you know, there once I came across a video which had a small experiment. Plenty of women were standing in the rows, and every woman had to back out if a particular role was called out. And that role was that of a CEO of a company. Many of the women who were a CEO moved backward. They were a teacher by profession. Yes, there were teachers, they moved back. There were professors. Yes, there were professors, they moved back. Scientists, yes, many women have, are scientists and have taken up the profession of scientist. So those women also moved out or moved back from the group. What about doctors? Of course, this field also, most of the women are present. And so most of the women who were doctors moved out of the group. There remained few women. And then the question asked to the group of women that were remaining there, who is in the field of finance? Most of them moved back. Because they think that finance is not the field of a woman. We have our finance minister as Nirmala Sita Raman. Yet, we women, when it comes to finance, run to our better half or our parent figure. Or we have a personal banker or a financier from the bank to help us double our amount to cash in into our own salaries. But today we have among us, and I'm very proud to introduce this person today, and that is Amrita Deshmukh. Amrita Deshmukh is a member from Agnel Toastmasters Club. She's actually a content creator. She makes, makes videos on YouTube and other social media handles to increase financial literacy. And so today, with great pride, and also knowing that we do not have any guests, so I pass on the waiting to none other than Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Amrita. Please welcome her with a huge round of applause. And my Zoom master kindly highlight Toastmaster Amrita. Over to you, Toastmaster Amrita. Thank you, presiding officer Kalpana for the warm introduction and my fellow Toastmaster and dear guest. I'm the Toastmaster in this evening to serve as your Toastmaster this evening. So for the benefit of the members, I would like to share the structure of the meeting. Meeting is divided into three parts. First part is prepared speech section. Prepared, uh, there will be a members delivering their speeches on based on their path and projects they have chosen. Second part is table topic session where the members will be uh, thinking and speaking on their feet. It is an impromptu speech session and uh, guests are most welcome to participate in this session. New members also can participate in this. And our last meeting round is most important and final round is evaluation round uh, where the prepared speeches and other aspect of the meeting is evaluated by the general evaluator and his team. So uh, 
before we start with today's session today's prepared uh, prepared speeches let me talk about the theme of the day and today's theme is women and financial literacy so before i begin i recall i uh, i clearly recall one of my incident when i uh, when i was working with icsi securities so a woman had just lost her uh, husband who came to uh, who came to a branch uh, with her son her son was almost uh, 16 years old and she had no clue regarding any in husband's investment portfolio she was in a lot of distress and even when i was explaining to her she didn't understand anything because there is a lot of gap there is a lot of uh, lack uh, and this can happen only because of lack of financial literacy so upcoming wednesday 8th march is uh, international women's day and i could not find any better topic than uh, topic to celebrate women so whether whether you are a housewife or a working woman if you are not a part of major financial decisions at home then there is a worry and why is so because there is a kind of ta taboo in the society that women are not good with managing money and economic times did a study on this recently money uh, women and their personal finances which revealed that uh, that overall 51% of women in the country are either not investing uh, investing at all or are unaware of their investments women have differentiated earning potential differentiated uh, earning uh, differentiated financial choices career peaks career breaks longer life expectancy than men uh, a different approach towards financial planning so i request everyone out here to share their uh, experiences with managing money including men also uh, you can share your uh, story of your mother or your wife with us and uh, we can move forward as the toastmaster of the day it is my duty to uh, duty to introduce the role bearers who will assist me in the uh, in the running of today's session to help us navigate into the meeting and help in spotlighting the speaker we have the very crucial role crucial tech master role handled by toastmaster monica toastmaster monica is enthusiastic person who uh, who is hungry to learn new things and her journey is inspiring because she st started her journey uh, toastmaster journey sergeant at arms and now she is a vp education so i would request zoom master uh, to uh, zoom master monica to kindly unmute and spotlight yourself hi i request you to explain your role to master monica thank you uh, to master of the day good afternoon uh, to master of the day fellow to master and dear guests i'm here a uh, timer for the day as an timer my duty is to time the prepared speeches table topics and evaluation for the prepared speech the time allotted varies as per the project and will be stated by the evaluator for instance an icebreaker speech uh, the time allotted is 4 to 6 minutes we have three uh, icebreaker speech today and for the table topics the time allotted is 1 to 2 minutes and for evaluation the time allotted is 2 to 3 minutes speakers must meet the specified time limit to qualify for the award at the end of the meeting i will display the green screen at a minimum qualifying time yellow screen at midpoint of the qualifying time and the red screen at maximum qualifying time till the till the end of the speech for the prepared speech and evaluation 
the speaker has 30 seconds grace before the minimum qualifying time and after the maximum qualifying time. For the table topic, there is also grace period only after the red screen is displayed. All the speakers who continue to speak beyond the 30 seconds grace period will not be qualified for the vote. I will report the time taken by the speakers when called upon. Thank you. And over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Toastmaster Monica. To track the good usage or not so good usage of grammar, we have, we have a grammarian of the day, Toastmaster Shweta. Toastmaster Shweta. Hello. I would request Zoom Master to kindly unmute and spotlight Toastmaster Shweta. Yeah, hello. Good afternoon. Rule. Good afternoon, everyone. As a grammarian, it is my responsibility to pay close attention to all speakers, listening carefully to the language usage. I'll take note of any misuse of the English language as well as any outstanding words, quotes, sayings, or thoughts. As grammarian, it is also my duty to introduce you to the word of the day. For today's meeting, the word is resilience, which means the capacity to withstand or recover quickly from difficulties or hardship. Or you can use it in a way like ability to recover from setbacks, maybe to adapt well to change and keep going in the face of adversity. Uh, meaning, example, it can be uh, like... Uh, uh, his greatest strength are his determination and resilience. Or you can say a good half of art of the living is resilience. I would like to introduce the phrase of the day, which is learning the ropes, uh, which is to acquire some knowledge uh, to work well. We can use it in an example, like uh, once I learned the ropes at my new job, I won't be nervous and I will be very good at the work I do. Each speaker is encouraged to use the word of the day and the phrase of the day. And I'll give my report uh, when called upon. Thank you. Toastmaster Shweta, can you share your experiences, experience with money, with managing personal finance? Okay. Uh, so uh, I am currently working in Morningstar Washi, which is a finance domain company. So I do manage my personal finance myself. Only. So I have a good amount of knowledge and I keep acquiring knowledge in finance domain as well. That's great. Thank you, Toastmaster Shweta. Thank you. To keep the track of us and knowns during the meeting, we have the accounter of the day, Toastmaster Snehil. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, Amrita. I will go ahead and explain my role. The purpose of our counter is to note the words and sound that are used as a crutch or pause filler by anyone who speaks. During the meeting, I will also listen for overused words, including and, well, but, so, and, you know. I will also listen for filler sounds, including ah, mm, er. I will also note when a speaker repeats a word or phrase, such as I, I, or this means, this means. At the end of the meeting, I will report the number of times that each speaker used these expressions. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster of the day, Amrita. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Snehil. Now we are moving to our uh, prepared speeches and to evaluate the speech for the first speaker, we have Toastmaster Anjali. Toastmaster Anjali is a jolly person with leadership qualities. I would request Zoom Master to kindly unmute and spotlight Toastmaster Anjali. Hi uh, everyone. Uh, hi all Toastmasters, good evening. Thank you Toastmaster Amrita Deshmukh. Uh, so I'll be reviewing, uh, evaluating Sanjeev Kumar for his 
speech uh, that is icebreaker speech and his speech topic is problem is the opportunity to learn uh, i'll uh, i'll wish him all the best for his first speech and uh, about my experience of uh, managing my finances yes it is very difficult <laughs> when you come to a certain uh, limit of tax bracket then only you'll realize where to invest what to invest and everything you'll try to learn but yes it is a evaluating process or uh, ev evolution sorry ev evaluation process of uh, uh, each of us i think everybody will learn of uh, managing their own finances at a certain point of time thank you thank you thank you toastmaster anjali for sharing your experience uh, and uh, now i would like to welcome our first speaker of the day toastmaster sanjay toastmaster uh, i would request zoom master to kindly unmute and spotlight toastmaster sanjay uh, i think it is sanjeev ha sanjeev sorry sanjeev no no thank you toastmaster of the day Amruta, and would you like to check your audio and video? I think it is working. Am I audible to every timer, Monica? Please flip the timer cards. Put your hands together for Toastmaster Sanjeev. Problem, uh, Toastmaster Sanjeev. Problem is opportunity to learn. problem is opportunity to learn toastmaster sanjeev all the very best toastmaster sanjeev thank you as you all know my name is sanjeev and i have been born and brought up in the hometown uh, in my hometown patna i currently i am pursuing my masters from uh, tata and social sciences in development studies i did my bachelor's in mathematics which has always made me a mathematics geek in my life before before coming to tata and social sciences i used to i used to work in an insurance firm named deep america life insurance for a year i also used to mentor the students of secondary classes in the field of mathematics to remove the fear psychosis surrounding the mathematics before the the kind of person i am today is all big because of the problem which in which with which i was grappled with in my childhood and the problem was stuttering i always has the desire to speak and present myself but could not because there was a hindrance in kind uh, there was hindrance in my uh, in my speech and and always the uh, the desire to speak on a stage and present my views always remained in my heart the the thing all throughout my uh, childhood and teenage years i have been grappling with this problem i always wanted to fix it but could not make out a path how to how to deal with this problem but a ray of hope came in the year 2016 when i uh, when i bought a smartphone and made some social media account uh, and there i meet a person named chazler disciplinarian who runs an online stuttering dissolution program uh, and he guided me how to deal with this problem and he suggested me some books re regarding it and the and the and the possibility of uh, facing your fears because that is where i lagged because slowly and slowly i found that um more or less each and every one stutter to some extent but 
I took it on a very personal level and always try to contain myself in the environment I live. I always try to uh, fix a goal which which does does not contain any presentation skills, uh, because uh, I always think that uh, people will judge me on the basis of my speaking disability. So almost I was like when I conversate with the people, I was like a walking uh, a dictionary of sys. synonyms means i always used to replace the word while talking with people so slowly and slowly i also realized that uh, this problem will not go away so easily i have to face it uh, and means re- remove the all the limitation and barriers which i have surrounded around this problem that uh, that is to get, get above the fear of judgment and uh, and the fact of facing your fear doing the things which is beyond your comfort zone uh, and major breakthrough came in my life when i applied for my masters in tata and social sciences in year 2022 and i was selected for it so that was my major break- breakthrough in life uh, which gave me the confidence that i can also do the things which others or with non stutterers are able to do um besides all this i i enjoy cricket writing short stories and uh, uh, singing thank you thank you for that wonderful speech to master sanjeev uh, i request zoom master to launch the speech feedback for uh, feedback poll uh actually we do not uh, launch the speech feedback form we do it at the end where we okay. ask them to vote for the best speaker okay, so okay. i think we can move to the second speaker amrit okay thank you to evaluate the speech for this Uh, second speaker we have toastmaster shrinivas toastmaster shrinivas is a restorer by profession he loves to read and run i would request zoom master and zoom master to kindly unmute and spotlight toastmaster shrinivas thank you toastmaster of the day amruta toastmaster uh, shrinivas i request you to please read out the speech objective Uh, today i'll be evaluating mr kishore tamankar and the purpose of this project is for the member to introduce themselves to the club and learn the basic structure of public speech speaking uh, i think it's a, it's a ice breaker speech and i wish him all the best uh, all thank you toastmaster shrinivas now i would like to welcome our second speaker of the day toastmaster kishore I would request Zoom Master to kindly unmute and spotlight Toast Master Kishore. Yes, it is done. Good afternoon, fellow Toast Masters and guests. John Asaraf, one of the leading high-performance success coaches, has said. comfort zone is a beautiful place where nothing grows ever the reason behind picking up these lines is my past experience in life which i will be sharing with you in this meeting just a second and- just a second <laughs> toast master kishore amrita you just yes, take yes. the cue i can see yes. you hesitating but it's all right uh, uh, kishore just let her introduce your topic and she will ask you to continue all right just hold for a second thank you go ahead toastmaster of the day please put your hands together for toastmaster kishore toastmaster kishore is a finance professional who wants to enhance communication and leadership skills uh, toastmaster kishore comfortable comfort zone toast comfortable comfort zone toastmaster kishore all the very best now you can go ahead good afternoon toastmaster of the day fellow toastmasters 
and guests. John SRF, one of the high performance leading coaches, has said, comfort zone is a beautiful place, but nothing grows there. The reason behind picking up these lines is my past experience in life, which I will be sharing with you in this meeting. I was born and brought up in Mumbai in a Maharashtrian family who have come from rural part of Ratnagiri. My father works in a paint manufacturing company. My mother is a homemaker and I have two elder sisters. I am an introvert kind of a person. I was good in my academics, but never a sports person. So I scored 86% in my 10th exam. And from there, my comfort zone has started. I started developing feeling that I have ability to score good marks while studying at the last moment. And in 12th, my performance slid down to 55%. And I realized it was not like that. But I still maintain that casual attitude towards education and thought of doing some, getting some job with the help of parents and not studying further. So I started looking for a job and found out hard to get one, but managed to work at one place where I used to get paid on hourly basis. I used to get 20 rupees per hour. So I worked there for seven, eight days, had many bad experiences and then realized the importance of the education. So during this phase, I wasted one year, but it taught me a lesson for my life. And then I took up admission for BSc IT. I completed my graduation with good grades and again went back to market for job, but found out that is also not enough to get a job. So I took up admission for MBA. I wanted to challenge myself. So I chose M finance as a specialization. Being from non-commerce student, it was not easy for me to study finance, but I studied hard and scored good grades and landed up with the one of the research companies as my college placement. So that was the rewarded, rewarding moment for me for coming out of my comfort zone. For MBA, to pay my fees, I used to work as a cashier in a restaurant. And I also become LIC agent to support my study, studies. So by all these things, I realized that to change, to make a change in our life, we have to come out of our comfort zone. So I was doing good at my job. I, uh, as I have understood the you know, importance of the education, I pursued my higher studies. So I enrolled for CFA exams and I cleared level one CFA exam. Uh, there are two more levels to be completed. So after working one and a half year, I switched back, switched to another job where I worked for long, long five years. So saying this for working those long five years is the reason I was again in my comfort zone. I don't want to appear for any interviews because I'm scared of it. But when last year I blessed with a baby boy, I realized that being in my comfort zone have impacted my professional and financial growth. So I started applying for jobs and landed up with one of my dream companies to work with as a research analyst. I joined Chrysil. So at there, my director realized that I'm, I have knowledge, but I'm unable to articulate it. So he advised me to join Toastmaster Club. And here I am today giving my icebreaker speech. So I would also like to take this opportunity to thank Toastmaster Kalpana and Toastmaster Monika, who are always pushing me 
for taking up roles and keep me motivated so to conclude i would quote anonymous quote which is it if it doesn't challenge you it doesn't changes you so thanks and over to you toast master of the day wow what an inspiring journey what a wonderful speech thank you toast master kishore for delivering your speech now move forward to third speech of the day to evaluate the speech of the third speaker we have toast master rajan toast master rajan is scientist by profession and works in a research and development of reputed pharma company i would request zoom master to kindly unmute and spot <clears throat> Toastmaster Rajan. Sorry to interrupt, uh, Toastmaster. Today, I'm the general evaluator, uh, but traditionally, these are all first icebreakers, right? Once it's read out, then you don't have to read out every time an icebreaker person comes in, and this also helps you with your communication and leadership styles by cutting short the time. Remember, you got to put this meeting on time. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So you want me to continue or? Yeah, yeah. Okay, no. so uh, I'll, I'll I'll make it very quick. So my target speaker, uh, first of all, thank you, Toastmaster of the day, uh, Toastmaster Amruta. My target speaker is Toastmaster Swati, and her topic is my interest with the public speaking. And since it's an icebreaker speech, the purpose remains same. Same that is the purpose of the project is for the member to introduce themselves to the club and learn the basic structure of a public speech. Uh, all the best, Toastmaster Swati. Thank you. now i would like to uh, like to welcome our third speaker of the day toastmaster swati thank you so much uh, toastmaster of the day uh, welcome fellow toastmasters good afternoon i must be toastmaster swati my trust with public speaking my trust a uh, trust with public speaking toastmaster swati all the very best thank you so much toastmaster of the day now before i begin with my speech i want to just take a moment to congratulate toastmaster kishore and toastmaster sanjeev every word of your speech was very inspiring now moving on um, let me begin by asking you all a question growing up when you were in school right and your teacher uh, suddenly announced that she was going to voluntarily choose a student to express his or her views in english in front of the entire class how many of you skipped a heartbeat and prayed that it was not you right however if she picked the, your best friend sitting next to you and uh, uh, you know she picked her or him or her for that speech you felt so relieved as if you just dodged a bullet felt nostalgic right i was no different uh growing up in kolkata amidst the love of my grandparents my parents and my three elder siblings i spent most of my childhood playing in and around the neighborhood my parents taught us that you may not do 10 things that others are doing but the one thing that you do you should do with all your might coming from a mid class business oriented family our daily routine after making the most of whatever little resources we had left us with little or no time to pursue habits which were outside of what was required for academics habits such as reading learning writing which had long term benefits so for a very long time i wondered how people around me be it my classmates or my uh, colleagues they were able to express themselves so precisely in fewer words for a long time i used to you know force myself into believing that these people must have had it very convenient uh, they must have learned the art of communication so early in their lives because of their progressive household and hence people like me who did not have that privilege were a lost cause how much ever i spoke to these people i realized one thing one thing they all had in common which was self discipline discipline to continuously upskill themselves to learn to keep writing reading conversing and participating they had become what they became not by shying away from their problems 
And that is the precise reason why I joined Toastmasters. And here I am to deliver my first icebreaker speech. My first stab at public speaking was when my 11th grade class teacher, she forcibly entered me in an elocution competition to engage me in an extracurricular activity. I mustered up all my courage, went on stage and cracked a joke, but made a fool of myself and nobody laughed. However, that one step, however small, it filled me up with confidence to enter into more such competitions. But my trust with public speaking was short-lived. I didn't get enough opportunities to speak publicly at work or at college. I have led large teams though at work. And I recall one instance where one of my important team members had left the organization and uh, whoever were left, we were left to wonder how to shoulder the additional responsibility with the limited resources that we had. So I got thinking and as I was motivating the team with all my might to hold on, I realized that public speaking after all was not just about confidence in oneself. It was also about engaging with the audience. How much ever confidence you may exude. If the audience does not find your content engaging or if you're not able to relate with them, you may not become an impactful speaker. Hence, my journey at Toastmasters has begun and the objective that I have is to become an impactful public speaker. I understand that in this journey, my commitment and resilience would be put to test, just as it was when I was lying on the hospital bed, weak with dengue, and was contemplating whether I should appear for my CA final exams due in three weeks. Following the adage, it's not adversity, but your reaction to adversity that defines your destiny. I took charge of the situation, appeared for the exams, and was placed 34th All India. So from that moment on, I decided that whenever life would put me in difficult situations, I would never ask why me, but rather I would ask try me. Thank you so much, everyone. That was my icebreaker speech. Thank you, Toastmaster uh, Swati. Now move forward to fourth speaker and to evaluate our fourth speaker of the day, we have Toastmaster Cyril. Toastmaster Cyril is a former investment banker and presently full-time vocal artist. So uh, please read the speech objective, Toastmaster Cyril. Right, my target speaker, Mitali, is delivering, delivering her L1, P2 of presentation mastery. The purpose is writing a speech with a purpose. Uh, the objective would be to learn or review the basic methods for writing a speech with a defined purpose and present a well-organized speech on any topic, any style, as she feels fit. All the very best to you, Mitali. Back to you, Tia Muni. Please put your hands together for Toastmaster Mitali. Toastmaster Mitali, never give up, never give up, Toastmaster Mitali. Thank you, Toastmaster, TMOD. Good evening, TMOD and fellow Toastmaster and guest. There must be, there must be time in a life when we all, when we all want to stop trying. Have you all felt like a giving up? Yes, so please raise your hand to giving up some challenges too. Some challenges too. <laughs> yes. Yes, I too have the wants to give up. But till I read us some story, some story, true stories of true leaders to never give up and to struggle. And they are a, now a new winners. Thosma, I share with you Thomas Edison, uh, Thomas Alava Edison to story. Thomas Alava Edison, a American inventor and a businessman. Thomas is an accurate or recorded of recorded number of a 1093 patents. Thomas Edison is a many many device the many device to develop the such as the electric uh, electric power. Thomas Ella Thomas Edison 
is a making research the making a bulb thomas alva edison a uh, 10000 time to make a bulb a uh, fail but i uh, one person to say why are you 10000 to fail a uh, making a bulb then asked the thomas alva uh, and the same thomas alva uh, alva edison to <coughs> i know how to not to make a bulb a uh, 9999 times and the find i mistake thomas alva continue the try and again try and the touch the success our local hero are also never give up amita bachchan is a rejected for his uh, height for a uh, for height and the so called is a lambuji but he is a never give up and now this is a big superstar <coughs> i realize that this is a big person now this is a great personalities are worried to tired of this to uh, tired of the tired of tired of the trying they never give up i to never wants to give up i share and my i share with you my story of my biggest fear is a public speaking public skip sorry sorry public uh, public speaking as a child i have went up to stage i went up to stage uh, for a singing a song uh, singing a song and i froze and i i i something is everything starting at me starting at me but i want or not to never give up and i grew up and i start to join and i decided to join the toastmaster i know i will get i know i will get to my body language my voice and my deliver is a right i fail a, a file not a once time but many times but i listen to my evaluator and i try again and i try and my best failure is a stepping stone to the success if you continue to your way of the success you not a give you not a give up so you can comfort comfortably you choose the you are a way of the success never go never give up is my motto and every life is a every challenge to accept and try and strive to be continue one day is my friend is call me and she is a say to me a tire of the uh, life problems and she decided to now uh, give up but this is a not a right decision to give up because you uh, you give up this like a not to face the problem so i said i not to give up should not a, never give up and try and continue the way of the success and the way of the success and the continue and after i share with you two lines of the two lines of the harivan shrai bachan of the never give up lehro se dar kar no ka pahar nahi hoti koshish karne walon ki haar nahi hoti a tank a one a ant a mouth a food bite of the mouth and a start a walk to wall 100 times to fall down but he but she never to give up and the stand up and go for and go for the and go for the walk into the wall i we are all the news the listen uh, listen the news over the 10th and 12th exams in the uh, not a uh, uh, listen to the news in the 10th and 12th exam is a student are a board exam to fail and another not a target to complete and there is a some uh, student are to get, that decided to suicide and other is a, <clears throat> a depression so this this is a not a your uh, right decision you give up and try again and i think you um, continue the with our your uh, target thank you toastmaster i'm thank you to to toastmaster all of the day thank you toastmaster mitali for delivering your first speech and now i would request timer monica to present the timing taken by all the speakers sure uh the timing report for the uh, speech, prepared speech is as toastmaster sanjeev took toastmaster sanjeev took 4 minute 35 second toastmaster kishor took 5 minute 22 seconds 
and Toastmaster Swati took four minutes, 49 seconds and Toastmaster Mithali took five minutes, 28 seconds. All are, uh, all, all were in time limit and all are qualified for the OT. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Toastmaster Monica. Now I share some points to improve your relationship with managing money. So uh, my first point is be aware of your expenditure and your earning. Writing down your expenses from the small one to big one. Uh, expenses month on month help you to know the breakup, uh, breakup of your living expenses. And budgeting helps you identify uh, identify unwanted and unavoidable expenses and divert the same towards investing. Then second, I would share uh, second point I would like to share is build an emergency corpus. Every woman should create a corpus of at least six months. If any financial crisis happen, then you will be ready for that. And for that, you can build your emergency uh, corpus and you can uh, uh, you can invest that emergency corpus in fixed deposit or liquid funds or simply in a saving bank account that will help you a lot. So with this, now we will move forward to our next session, which is a table topic session. And for uh, table topic round, which is all about spontaneity to provide with uh, with, her, uh, with the challenge of today's table topic round, we have the table topic master who will be conducting the session today. Today's table topic master is to, uh, master is Swati. Please help me in welcoming the table topic master of the day, Toastmaster Swati. I would request Zoom Master to kindly unmute and spotlight Toastmaster Swati. Thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster of the day. Can you share your experience with managing money, Toastmaster Swati? Sure. So, uh, Toastmaster uh, Amrita, I'm actually, uh, I was uh, fascinated by the world of finance. In fact, uh, from very early on in my childhood, coming from a uh, humble background. I mean, it was uh, the one important thing that we could think of, right? And uh, that we could manage uh, well. So that actually uh, helped me in my chartered accountancy as well. So I uh, kind of manage my finances. In fact, I do that for some of my family members as well. However, I would like to say that, uh, you know, you raise a very important point that in today's world, financial literacy among women is lacking. And it's high time that, uh, you know, we as women, in fact, take steps to educate other women to come forward and, um, you know, be aware of what financial literacy means, how to manage their finances and have a secure and independent life. Thank you. Over to you, uh, Toastmaster Swati. Thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster of the day. Uh, welcome fellow Toastmasters and guests. Um, I think we do not have any guests in today's meeting, but uh, welcoming all fellow Toastmasters, I am your table topic master for the day. This is an impromptu speech session of a Toastmasters meeting. It's an interesting session, which will give you a chance to sharpen your listening, thinking, organizing, and speech delivery skills. For table topics, the time allotted is one to two minutes. Green screen will be showed at one minute, yellow screen at one and a half minutes, and red at two minutes. A grace period of 30 seconds is given to qualify for the vote. Speaker has to speak for a minimum of one minute to qualify for the voting. All speakers are requested to use the word of the day. Word of the day is resilience. I encourage members and guests to volunteer for the session. Should we begin with the session? Sure. sure. In the spirit of International Women's Day, in the spirit of International Women's Day, I would like to table topics that are thought-provoking. I would request 
if volunteers can raise their hands and uh, you know who would like to throw some light on uh, you know what international women's day means and some uh, you know table topics around that would anybody like to go first great toastmaster sanjeev yes so thank you for volunteering so toastmaster sanjeev what does financial independence mean to you what does financial independence mean to you toastmaster sanjeev financial financial independence is uh, uh, based on other independence like uh, independence in the society independence which we get in our life means independence in our home independence in terms of thinking because if these things are not organized uh, we may not be able to achieve the financial independence in our life see uh, it is said that uh, only education is non- not important you should uh, re- you should apply your education Uh, for earning money or uh, for to build your character so that you become the person uh, who is employable who can contribute to the society and also um, means contribute to the exchequer of the government so and especially if if i if i put this topic in the context of women for them it is more important because they have been marginalized for uh, for um means for a century uh, for means many centuries so for them this is much more important uh, because it will give them a kind of uh, a kind of stand in the society so that they can fight patriarchy and make a position of themselves thank you that's very well said uh, tm sanjeev it's not just important that you attain financial independence but it's also very important that you attain independence in all aspects of your life very well said thank you so much for volunteering so uh, can i do this can i call upon a few speakers if that's okay with everyone so this is going to be like a shot in the dark but <laughs> let me do that so uh, calling upon tm sunish he is also my mentor welcome thank to you. the meeting thank you toastmaster sobhi even when i switched on the video for that only to jump in <laughs> <laughs> great great timing okay so one very thought provoking topic that i would want you to throw some light on is the rise of women is not about the fall of men the rise of women is not about the fall of men toastmaster finish so how many of you seen the movie three idiots right in that there is a scene okay i see a lot of hands right so there is one of that scene where the marks of the all the student is put in and suddenly the two friends they realize that amir khan has been placed first and they feel sad right so it happens often right we get something in life and the moment we compare it with someone else we feel sad that oh that person has got more and it's not just about movies howard had conducted a study wherein they gave option to students they said that you can get a salary of 4 lakh dollars per annum the same time your friends will get a salary of 2 lakh at the other hand you will get a salary of 10 lakh but your friends will get a salary of 20 lakh guess what most of the people chose they chose the first option where they are getting more than friends though in actuality it was much lesser than the second option so friends that's what happens like every time we don't look what we get in actuality we compare it be it amongst ourselves maybe guys versus guys or maybe guys versus girls so it's not about gender discrimination it's somewhere that human psychology if somebody else is doing better sometimes it happens like that person is doing better but why not me and we have to be conscious of that choice 
So friends, whenever anybody is progressing in life, whether it be guy, girl, your friend or your enemy, don't get envious. Whenever we get envious, it brings down our vibe. It brings down our energy. It does not matter which facet of life it is, whether it's studies, whether it's profession, whether it's money or whether it's relationship. Don't compare what you have with somebody else. Have gratitude for what we have in life. Every day, when you get up in the morning, just take 10 seconds to enjoy the thing you have in your life, unique to you, and enjoy this life. Whatever a person is accomplishing, maybe a guy or a lady, don't compare it with them. Enjoy whatever they are celebrating in their life, whatever they are achieving, and we can share this positivity. So be happy whoever is moving ahead in their life. Over to you, Table Topic Master. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Sinish. That was a very interesting take with anecdotes from Harvard Business Review as well as Three Idiots. You also left us with a very thought-provoking message, right? Be happy in whatever that you do. Don't compare. Great. Thank you so much for being uh, so sporting. Okay. Up next, can I call upon Toastmaster Anjali? Great. <laughs> See, I was anyways going to pick you. Thank you. I didn't know that. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> okay, so I have an interesting question for you. Um, would you like to tell us about influential women that you would like to meet? Influential women that you would like to meet, Toastmaster Anji. Okay. So thanks for, uh, first of all, thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster Swati, for giving me the opportunity to speak on this very crucial topic that uh, talk who would who would i would like to whom i would like to meet uh, who are influential women first of all i would like to meet savitri bai phule who started uh, education for women with the help of his husband her husband her husband was very motivating for to her, towards her in terms of uh, educating her keep uh, or making her independent, uh, helping her to think individually and not to depend on him. By that time, every woman used to, you know, depend on their husbands or their parents or to even to take small decisions like whether to go to school or not, whether to go for, uh, out of uh, home or not. There was there were many restrictions uh, to men or uh, to women. So I, I think if I could meet her and understand what struggles she actually, you know, uh, had and she fought, what things she fought for, I think it will be encouraging for all of us, for all, of, all the women as well as men, because even men will learn from her husband's perspective, how he thought about, you know, educating women. So I think uh, that's the take I would, uh, you know, have on this thank you thank you so much uh, toastmaster anjali for taking that uh, thank you uh, i think a few only a few people would actually uh, you know would have named uh, savitri bai phule but a very great choice uh, she has done some revolutionary work yep. thank you so much uh, again for uh, volunteering thank you up next uh, i would want to call upon our counter uh, toastmaster snehil thank you swati so Toastmaster Snehil, uh, the topic for uh, today would be gender equality today for a sustainable tomorrow. Gender equality today for a sustainable tomorrow, Toastmaster Snehil. That is a very interesting topic, uh, Toastmaster Swati. We have been having this debate, this conversation going on for a very long time about gender equality, and if we look back, if we look at our present and try to make sense of what is happening in the present, it's a Buddhist saying that you want to go back and look at what happened in the past to better understand your today. And the same principle applies for tomorrow. It is, I, I often wonder when I, look back at men and women in my own family, what if the women in my own family were 
given the same encouragement and opportunities. All of the discord, the uneasiness, the insecurities that I see in those women as well as those children, all of the ego issues I see in the men as well as in their children, right? Maybe things could have been different had my ancestors thought differently about giving equal opportunity, equal push, equal uh, treatment to both genders. And I hope that in my generation, we change whatever has been happening since a long time and lay the foundation for a much kinder, a much more capable, a much more emotionally resilient, emotionally sound generations to come. Thank you so much. Over to you, Toastmaster Swati. Thanks so much, uh, Toastmaster Snail, for sharing that. I think it's never too late, even if we realize that you know gender equality is necessary for a sustainable tomorrow, it's never too late. Totally echo your views. Uh, Thank you. Great. So we have a volunteer, um, distinguished Toastmaster Lancy. Yeah, shoot. <laughs> sure. Um, so I have one uh, interesting topic for you. If you educate a man, you educate one person. However, if you educate a woman, you educate a nation. If you educate a man, you educate one person. However, if you educate a woman, you educate a nation. Distinguished Toastmaster Lance. Mm, a debatable one, <laughs> uh, being a man. But due credit has to be given. Uh, I have to cite one person that has been pretty influential, besides, of course, my mom. She's like 92, and she's still breathing down my neck, no matter what my age is. However, I know of a particular person called Patsy. She happens to be the past uh, coach for the Indian women hockey team. Now, she rides a bike. She's almost like about 62 now. Uh, she's uh, like a motherly figure, absolutely uh, agile, uh, the sportsmanship, everything in there. Now, she looks after a whole bunch of kids at the St. Catherine's home for the destitute, the poor children that are on the streets and orphans. I have to tell you this. At one point of time, she had asked me to dress up as Santa Claus and come in last year for her Christmas party, which she had staged for all these poor kids. They've come in with their families, and I'm all dressed up as that. They all come in, shake hands with me, etc. But guess what they do with Patsy? She's had young girls who've grown up with her for the last 15 years ever since she's been associated with this particular premises the St. Catherine's home. They call her mom. The boys who are like 15 and 16 call her mom. I mean, you can beg, borrow and steal people on the planet, but can you get that respect a single woman and they call her warm mom? And I was basking in the glory of this particular person who says, Patsy, oh my God, I wish people would call me dad and pop, I would pop up like a Toastmaster. But to get that sort of a recognition, it's hard. And I choked when I saw them coming in and the amount of love on that planet at that point of time. And they just come in. So I asked to one of the guys, his name was Akshay. And I said, uh, you call her mom? Yeah, that's my mom. She's looked after me. I would do anything for her. In the final analysis, if that's what you do, that's the woman I would love to know. We could do a lot of things, but she educated a whole bunch in front of me. I take hats off to her. Over to you. Wow, that was so inspiring. I mean, you know, to give someone that warmth and love and to get that, you know, in return, I think nothing could be greater. Thank you so much for taking a stab at it. Um, can I call upon Toastmaster Shubham, the newest member of our Toastmaster family? <laughs> Hi, Swati. <laughs> Hello, Toastmaster Shubham. Okay, so for you, 
I have a table topic, which is an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Toastmaster Shubh. So, hello, Toastmasters. And yeah, the phrase sounds absolutely correct that the investment in knowledge pays the best interest. And definitely, Don't worry about any forming any sentences or that. Just say whatever you feel like. What is your first <laughs> thought when you think about this topic? It's fine, uh, Shubham. If you feel you want to continue, you're more than welcome. If you feel you can't, you can always say, uh, excuse me, no problem whatsoever. This is a great learning experience and a platform. Continue in the next meetings. So sorry. No worries. Thanks uh, so much, TM Shubha. Um, do we have any other volunteers uh, for the table topic session? I'll take one. Toastmaster Sir. Sure. Hi, Toastmaster Sir. Hi. So, for you, I have an interesting one. Uh, I've been saying that to everyone. Though. I know. <laughs> okay. So, Toastmaster Sir, behind every successful woman, there is a man who trusted her and not the society. Behind every successful woman, there is a man who trusted her and not the society. Toastmaster Sir. Man, that is a wonderful topic. And I love the way you twisted that thing around and you gave it to me. Now, I come from a family of very strong women. Uh, incidentally, my maternal grandmother, she had seven kids. And while delivering this, a month before the delivery, she was bitten by a cobra. She lost the seventh kid. That didn't stop her from being such an awesome matriarch to the entire family. My paternal grandmother, lost her husband, incidentally, three days after delivering her fifth child. And she brought the entire family up, managing the farm and everything. My mother came from a vernacular medium, topped her university, became a high uh, post banker in Reserve Bank. My sister is a blah, blah, blah. I can go on, on and on and on about this. Now, one thing that really, really gets uh, overlooked in this entire battle between the genders is that it should not be a battle for every single man who stands up, for every Barak who had a Michelle. There was a Michelle for a Barak. And the, the other way, it doesn't matter who stands up. When we stand in this, women may be from Mars, men may be from, sorry, the other way around, right? Women would be from Venus, men would be from Mars. Goes on, goes on sure that it doesn't matter. But we all live in Earth. It doesn't matter what planet you're in. You're here to support, you're here to grow. You're here to ensure, you're here to nurture. You're here to ensure that the other party grows and together we all grow up. We all become leaders. We all become the best uh, version of what we are capable of. It takes guts to stand behind the woman because society pushes you in a certain way. You're the man, you're the, the leader and blah, blah, blah. But I am an example. I'm not the earning member in my family. I'm on a sabbatical. My wife is the earning member of the family. But when my wife was not the earning member, it was me providing for. We have a symbiotic relationship and I think uh, we are very proud of how we have shaped up in that. Uh, yeah, uh, to conclude, it doesn't matter who is the, uh, the leader in the family. It's a duty of each gender to support the other one because we are all equal at the end of it. Back to you, Table Topics Master. Thanks so much, Toastmaster Cyril. I think, you know, that balance, that fine balance is very important, right? 
Yeah. Thank you so much for taking a stab at it. Um, I would, uh, for the last topic, I would uh, like to call upon Toastmaster Kalpana, uh, our presiding officer, uh, to take a stab at uh, one uh, particular topic, uh, Toastmaster Kalpana. <laughs> yes, yes. So Toastmaster Kalpana, why don't you take a stab at uh, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest? An investment in knowledge pays the best interest, Toastmaster Kalpana. An investment in knowledge does pay you the best dividends. I do not, not agree with that. But for me, wisdom is higher than knowledge. Because where I use my wisdom and how I use my wisdom is what matters. Let me tell you a very small incident that happened with me while I was in Assam. My car, unfortunately, stuck in a muck because it rains incessantly in Assam. We really panicked because it's a hilly area and each bungalows are situated on a hilltop. And as the car sunk, I could see the fear really just illuminating my husband's face. And I also panicked, though I was not in the car. He was on his way to office. Nothing, nothing was working because fear gripped us very badly. All the knowledge took back seat. That's when, when my maid just came forward and she told me, Mim sab ek basta lagaye. Basta is a sack. And I said, sack? Haanji, Mim sab. Basta lagaye, tire ke niche lagaye, put it under the tire. That is when the knowledge that I had learned in science came forward. Friction causes any thing or any tire or from friction causes movement, right? It does not let you slip because if you're if the floor is slippery, you even slip on the heels if you're walking down a mall. That particular knowledge was wisdom with my particular maid servant. That is the time I realized knowledge sometimes just remains bookish, but wisdom, the lessons of life from where we derive wisdom is something when we combine it with the knowledge that we invest in becomes a bombshell to create a great and a magnificent life. Thank you. Over to you Toastmaster Swati. Thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster Kalpana. I mean, that was a very interesting take with a personal uh, anecdote. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, with that, I hand it back over to the Toastmaster of the day. But before I do that, I would request uh, Toastmaster Monica uh, as the timer to help us with, uh, you know, the timing of uh, each of the Sure. They were topic master. Uh, thank you. And the report, a uh, timing report for the table topics is Toastmaster Sanju took 1 minute 27 seconds. Toastmaster Sunish took 2 minute 24 seconds. Toastmaster Anjali took 1 minute 33 seconds. Toastmaster Snehil took 2 minute 1 seconds. Distinguished Toastmaster Lansi took 2 minutes 23 seconds. To Toastmaster Cyril took 2 minutes 14 seconds. Toastmaster Kalpana took 2 minutes 4 seconds. And Toastmaster Shubham uh, unfortunately couldn't uh, took part. So he's not qualified. And uh, all the other speakers are qualified for the OT. Thank you. Great. Over to you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Monica. I hand it back uh, to Toastmaster of the day. Thank you. Thank you, Table Topic Master Swati, for the entertaining session. And thank you, speakers, for thinking on your feet. Now, continue with the theme. I would like to share some more points to improve your relationship with money. So plan your retirement in advance. Retirement planning is the most ignorant topic in our country. So start early, start small, and start investing via public provident fund or other retirement fund also. 
<coughs> then next is health insurance any medical emergency can wipe off your savings so time to time uh, recall your mediclaim cover your fa family with medical cover with sufficient medical cover and uh, enhancing and keeping in mind uh, medical inflation with healthcare cost also so and the third one is life insurance if you are uh, if you are an equal contributor uh, contributor to your family uh, to your family's income then term insurance is must for your dependents maybe they are your parents or your child so corporate covers are till are there only till you work with uh, work with the current employer and cannot be continued later so with this we move forward to our next session is general evaluator round so the next part of our meeting is an important round of postmasters meeting in this round constructive feedback is given to each speaker as well as to the overall meeting conduct so that members can benefit from the experience of evaluators and become better speaker for this we have general evaluator to conduct the session today's general evaluator is postmaster distinguished postmaster lancy uh, he has 25 years in postmaster fraternity and 20 years of service in airport manager at uh, at emirates airline so i would request uh, please help me to welcoming the general evaluator of the day postmaster lancy i would request you to kindly unmute and spotlight distinguished lancy distinguished postmaster lancy over to you much appreciated much appreciated uh, yes <clears throat> amruta keep that smile on and i'll follow next okay <clears throat> okay so we've got this uh, session uh, one of the things as general evaluator which also happens to be the auditor of the entire session is to request the evaluators be nice to the speakers okay because they've taken time burned the midnight oil to work on their projects fine also we've got a terrific uh, analysis which we do in toastmasters is called the uh, sandwich method it's the crc method comment recommend and uh, comment to do the honors of this first uh, speaker that's uh, sanjeev His evaluator is Anjali. The spotlight's on you, Anjali. Take it away. Oh, uh, thank you, distinguished Toastmaster Lancy. Uh, first of all, very congratulations to all the speakers who are here and the table topic master for conducting inspiring table topic session. Congratulations, Toastmaster Sanjay, for completing your first ever. icebreaker speech thank you your problems or uh, your speech title was problem is the opportunity to learn it was itself a uh, at, an attention grabbing an attention the topic was really uh, uh, up to the mark you started it very well you helped us understand about your childhood uh, your love for mathematics and your stuttering habit as well in the uh, middle of the session you also help us to understand how you dealt you deal with it for example in 20, 2016 you bought a smartphone then you had a mentor who uh, help you to learn uh, uh, and uh, recover you are stuttering uh, fear, fear of stuttering uh, you also use some few innovative words or phrases like fear of judgment speaking disability dictionary of synonyms the overall structure of your uh, speech was really well and i would say your resilience to learn few from the problems is encouraging for all of us you learned the ropes of managing the structure of the speech very well it showed your well researched and thoughtful nature as well in the conclusion i would uh, i would uh, say that um, it ended up very abruptly the conclusion i wanted 
is to know more about what you will do in your future to overcome all your fears also there are few recommendations that i would consider um i don't know uh, many of us will follow that or not but uh, i will get more comfortable in standing and speaking with a smile this will make you comfortable and encourage others and grab the attention of all the speakers so i think i would like you to do this for your next speech uh, the end could be more conclusive with a more future planning as i have already mentioned overall your speech was very well written very well structured just uh, improve on these recommendations and you will do good job thank you thank you toastmaster of the day over to you thank you general evaluator over to you much appreciated evaluator one if uh, yeah we had a speak second speaker kishore comfortable comfort zone to do the honors uh, i'll call upon the evaluator that's shrinivas the spotlight's on you shrinivas take it away thank you dtm lancy uh, kishore you did an excellent uh, job in your icebreaker speech and i would like to co congratulate for your icebreaker speech first what an excellent icebreaker speech started with a beautiful quote by john asaraf uh, and it said nothing grows in the comfort zone uh, how true is that surely nothing grows in the comfort zone uh, that's what we all know it makes us stagnant comfort zone makes us uh, quite weak once we are once we get into uh, the comfort zone uh, that's when we uh, forget our goals that's when we forget where we have to reach uh, team kishore brought together a wonderful story of personal experiences and the story of resilience how education is important how the struggle uh, how he went through many struggles uh, but his motto of never giving up of the re resilience will definitely bring great success to him very soon uh, that's what i wish for him kishore used some beautiful vocabulary in his speech his speech didn't feel like it was an ice breaker actually it was a well uh, structured speech he used some uh, beautiful quotes at the beginning and even in the end uh, that's what, that's how we start a speech and end one i would uh, however i would try to engage the audience with a question uh, i would uh, i'm sorry i would try to engage the audience with a question and i would try to ask them uh, to answer it or um, even with the raise of a hand a few questions uh, with a yes or no and wait for their answers that would i uh, that's what i would do when i am giving a speech i would suggest uh, him to work on that and he he could have used a few gestures and uh, it was quite straight a speech he could have used his hands and he could have stood up while giving the speech it would have given him confidence uh, and a little smile on his face would make the speech more better uh, you should always start with the hook that what that's what you started uh, the quote was your hook then you uh, then you uh, gave a story Uh, your life story what you experienced that was a very good thing uh, but you could have closed the whole thing uh, even better i would suggest you to do it in the future and i wish kishore all the very best for his uh, cfa future cfa exams and his journey uh, in completing the cfa all the best kishore thanks much appreciated evaluator srinivas coming up next we've got speaker number 3 swati my twist with public speaking to do the honors evaluator rajan steps in the spotlight take it away thank you general evaluator uh, distinguished toastmaster lancy i'll start first with congratulating toastmaster swati for completing her icebreaker speech i'll ask a question uh, how many of you believe that this was a captivating and a mesmerizing speech okay so may i request everyone to show thumbs up or a big round of applause see and why i say so see first of all she started by appreciating the fellow speakers that how they delivered their speech and that was a good start 
then she started asking her questions and that captured attention of all and that's a half job done in any speech the first job is to capture the attention of audience in the first 30 seconds and that's what you did it perfectly the remaining job it was taken care by the wonderful story which my target speaker to special swati told very confidently throughout i never felt that it's her icebreaker speech and throughout i she sounded like more of a seasoned speaker the way she was telling her story from being born in calcutta to her school days to her office she connected all the dots perfectly it was like all the events that she was describing were getting unfolded like a movie in front of us and no wonder i also went down the memory lane and i was correlating my school days for instance when she mentioned that she participated in the first competition and thought she cracked a joke but no one was laughing so i could correlate that few of the instances or few of the incidents that has happened with me in my school days so that was something uh, very good like as uh, I, we can correlate with our own personal stories she used many quotes and anecdotes throughout her speech and obviously a good usage of english for example like skipping the hard bit self discipline to upgrade themselves they became what they became by not staying away from the problems she also used the word of the day effectively resilience she ended perfectly well by quote why me try me yes it was a very good speech but obviously in any speech there are a few improvement areas and uh, i like to give few suggestions this being an online speech though laptop placement was good however if you can deliver the speech by standing you can effectively use your hand gestures or maybe a body language so that's one suggestion i know it's always a challenge but a little bit of it it's always helpful vocal variety was good but the voice modulation and pause at the right place could have created more impact throughout the speech she was smiling and if she could have used one or two doses of humor i think that would have been really great so overall excellent speech and uh, with this few suggestion i'm sure it will take it to the next level thank you over to you general evaluator uh, dtm nancy much appreciated next coming up is amitali never give up to do the honors i have a person who never gives up and that's cyril cyril the spotlight's on you take it away thank you thank you toastmaster distinguished toastmaster lancy a toastmaster mitani thank you so very much for that lovely speech it was a very very well articulated speech uh, never give up you used all the techniques that established speakers do to kind of uh, you know uh, strengthen their speech you had a great start you had thomas alva edison and lambu bachan you had a great middle and an end you you quoted your own examples uh, your school the singer time and your friends and you ended with two one of the probably most recognizable quotes on never giving up the harivansh rai bachan and failure is a stepping stone to success uh, lovely this is what it would call a uh, isc uh, worthy speech whenever you plan your isc contest ensure that you present this speech and you'd be very much on the way to winning it uh, a couple of things which i would more than a couple in fact which i would uh, recommend to you to really make it an isc worthy speech would be number one which all the evaluators here have been saying stand while you deliver the speech you see that i'm standing up right now right sitting is a new smoking is it not and the zoom environment has really made us all smokers in that aspect when you stand up you can actually it's better poise you can speak better and you can use your body language gestures and everything much much better that's something which i would really urge everyone to do that second thing would be your camera placement i believe you're on a cell phone camera uh, the portrait mode we see you like a one of those greek statues you know this bit the little bit when you because of that we are missing out a lot of your uh, your body language your body movement your hand gestures and all of that i would urge that you keep it portrait mode uh, sorry the landscape mode so that we can see a lot more of you it can really make your speech even more impactful vocal variety was another thing that i would really urge you to consider a never give up speech is like never give up it's one of those inspirational speech in fact uh, your title is the entire content of uh, winston churchill speech once he stepped on stage and he looked at everyone quietly he said never give up post 
looked at everyone again, said, never give up. And he walked to the stage. Three words, entire speech. That's the, that's the kind of uh, power that uh, the speech could have. If I try to kind of imagine that you're having a conversation with your best friend, whenever you're deliver delivering a speech, the way you and I are having this conversation, then your entire vocal variety, your vocal body language, everything will be just natural for you. And you'll find that you're kind of narrating the speech just like a story. It won't be a Toastmasters project. Yeah, just consider these things and you are an excellent speech writer. Uh, and these things will really, really help you elevate your speech to a truly ISC level. All the very best and congratulations on passing this level. Back to you, General Evaluator. Much appreciated. Thank you, the four evaluators. Right, okay. <clears throat> timer, may I have the timer's report, please? Oh, sorry, sorry, we had the fourth one. Sorry, we finished our four, yes. Yes, Monica. Yes, uh, thank you, General Evaluator DTM Lancy. The timing report for the evaluation is as Toastmaster Anjali took 2 minutes 45 seconds. Toastmaster Srinivas took 2 minutes 48 seconds. Toastmaster Rajan took 2 minutes 58 seconds. And last one, Toastmaster Cyril took 2 minutes 57 seconds. All are qualified for the OT. Thank you and over to you, General Evaluator. Thank you, Monica. Now you smiled. I was hoping that you would smile right at the very beginning. Toastmasters is not a serious business. Even our founder member, Sir Ralph Lee Smedley, said almost like over 80 years ago, he says the best moments of learning is in times of enjoyment. People, people, people. When you stand up in there, you're under the spotlight, smile. And the world smiles with you. Great. Okay, fine. I have to say this at this point of time uh, that we finished off the three segments before I get into my report and I call the, the, the grammarian, et cetera. However, it's important, widely important to establish the polling. It's got to be done. In fact, it should have been done after every segment. I can influence votes in my next 20 minutes if I want to by citing different things. And people in the mandate would probably take tips from me and then may vote. Temperamentally, historically, and of course, logically, after every segment, the polling should be done. So it's not, there's no influence in the next part of the segments. We'll if keep you've got, that in if, mind. Thank you so if you've much. Got, Kalpana, if you've got the polling, I, I believe you need to do that now. Even if it's All two right. minutes, it's All taken right. away. I'll, I'll just... away. Absolutely, absolutely. Toastmaster Monica, could you launch the polls, please? Polls for uh, everybody, like for yes, uh, all, all polls for the speakers, table topics, yes. and evaluators. Now launching the poll for the best speaker. Yeah. All right. And keep it to keep it for uh, half a minute, maybe or a minute, a minute for each of them. Sure. <laughs> The purpose of the entire exercise is that it remains fresh. People are able to retain that okay. information. And as soon as the first segment is over, you plug in and you post your, once that segment is over, nobody after that can influence the votes. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, Monica, you can uh, just put the polls for uh, table topic round two. Also launch the evaluators mm -hmm. poll, please, Monica. Yes, sure.
Fine, fair enough. All right, people, so let's have our, <coughs> our counter. Monica, have you finished off? Okay, you've got the best evaluator, great. Good. We're all done with it? Yes. Yes, we are. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Monica. Okay. So that so that explains your role. And uh, the only suggestion that I had for you right at the very beginning was like, Monica, she's like Mona Lisa. She's got that smile. Why did it not come? Next time, please do that. All right. Okay, great. Fine. We've got the R counter, Snehil. I'd like to hear your report. The spotlight's on you. Thank you, uh, uh, DTM Nancy. Yeah. So I figured out why it's called the R counter because the most that I could catch was in R's. Uh, there were 19 R's all together. Um, and then uh, all the others, uh, almost every speaker had. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll begin with uh, Toastmaster uh, Monica uh, with two hours, uh, evaluator Srinivas with three, uh, evaluator Rajan with uh, one uh, hour, evaluator Cyril with three hours, DTM Lancy with one hour, uh, myself with one that I could catch with, with one hour. Uh, grammarian, grammarian uh, Shweta with four, uh, uh, Toastmaster Sanjeev with four, um, TM Amrita uh, with more than five, TM Swati with more than five, uh, Evaluator Anjali with more than five. Um, other than that, uh, Evaluator Srinivas uh, used and three times, uh, Toastmaster of the day Amrita used and three times. Um, she also used the word so three times. Toastmaster Swati used the word free, uh, so, uh, you know, three times. Um, there were some repetitions, uh, but I think this is, uh, this covers most of it. Okay, so here's what I have to say, Snehil, is you said uh, just one, I counted one ah uh, and two mm from you. Thank you. Okay, so that adds up to the entire list. Thank you. Great stuff, thank you. <clears throat> and I was trying to figure out uh, before the grammarian comes in, like, you know, uh, am I learning the ropes or are people in the in the club learning the ropes of and being resilient to all the challenges that they have in their grammarian kindly note? I use your words before you come in. Put your hands together, people. Smile for her. That's better on for you, the grammarian. Let's have your report. Yeah, thank you, DTM Lansing. Uh, yeah, I found everyone was resilient and are learning the ropes in their journey of life. Uh, I thought everyone could use those words because everyone has a journey wherein they are uh, withstanding the difficulties and are learning something new. So, but uh, very few of them could use the word. So I would like to say that Swati used resilience once, Srinivas used two times and DTM Lancy used just now once. <laughs> okay. Uh, I would like to... Uh, Say about some of the good thoughts, uh, good words, and quotes which I like. So Sanjeev used mathematics geek, psychosis, grapple, stuttering, dictionary of synonyms, make out a path, ray of hope, barrier, beyond your comfort zone, breakthrough, fight patriarchy. Kishore made use of some good phrases. Uh, at the start, at the end, nothing grows in the comfort zone. If it does not challenge you, it does not change you. He used words like articulate, showing the ability to speak uh, fluently. Swati made use of words dodged, nostalgic, all your might, conversing, shine away from their problems, mustard, tilt with all my might, adversity, uh, she used quote like why me rather try me uh, stab anecdote uh, 
Mitali made use of quote like uh, strive to be strive to continue. Sunish use envious facet. Snehil used to go back in the past. Discord. DTM Lancy use uh, made use of word bathing. Agile. Destitute. Basking in gallery. Uh, choked. Cyril made use of word vernacular. Overlook. Symbiotical relationship. Articulate. Kalpana made use of word incessantly. Illuminating. Panicked. Fair gripped. Magnificent. Anjali made use of word abruptly. Rajan made use of word captivating, mesmerizing, okay. seasoned speaker down the memory lane. Okay, coming to some improper use of grammar. Someone made use of words so easy, it could be so easily uh, in the context. Uh, someone made use of uh, getting some job, it could be getting a job. Someone made use of have you all felt? It could be have you ever felt? Um, someone use uh, like he is a never give up. It could be he never give up. Uh, my biggest fear is a public. It could be my biggest fear is public speaking. Uh, I failed uh, many times. It could be I failed many times. Uh, it, one, someone used you choice the it could be your choice. That's it. Thanks. All right. That, yeah, you. yeah, yeah. Much appreciated. That, that was pretty exhaustive. The only point of recommendation which I have for you, Sweta, is that as opposed to saying continuously, someone said, someone said, someone said, if I'm you as a grammarian, this is what I would do. The correct usage is, and you speak it, the sentence in the correct way. And that's where the efficiency comes in of a grammarian. Number one, it also cuts down tremendously on the time. On the, on the time. time is the essence of Toastmasters. We always work under smart. All right, thank you very much. I just need to ask the presiding officer, does this meeting end at 5.30? Correct? Yes. Right, yes. okay. So, so, so I'm going to speed it up and so that we can have the meeting on time. That's what Toastmasters is all about, working smart. Fair enough, here's my report. The okay, the meeting started on time. Uh, Kishore, 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 can I have the spotlight on you, Kishore, very quickly? You started off as a star. There's a reason why. Quick, uh, Kishore, that's you. Can I see the smile on your face, please? Yes, now you did that. Remember, whoever starts the meeting sets the meeting of that, you know, the, the whole trend of the meeting. So we are all a mirror reflection of you. For you, for me, if I'm there, the first thing I would do is like, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so glad that you are here on this lazy Sunday afternoon. And here's my mission of the statement. And that's where you set the entire trend of that. Am I made, made, made myself clear? All right, good. Yes. Keep that smile on. Thank you very much. Presiding Officer Kalpana, you had this is, okay, uh, eloquence is in, is, is in May. All right, I think you missed it out and you said it's in April. Fine, fair enough. You did give a lot of uh, nuggets of information. You traded that in there. You talked about the magazine and you referred it to whichever's out there. Okay, fine. Uh, you also introduced uh, the new person called uh, Shubham. Fine. Uh, for, for me, um, uh, probably because uh, the presiding officer always has a business meeting, which is that session, which is like five to seven minutes. And if I'm you, I would probably trade a little bit more of information as to what's happening. Where's the venue? It's in Ahmedabad. What are the dates? 27, 28, 29. A lot of the members uh, probably have their own lives and may not be able to follow the trail of emails or the messages sent out on WhatsApp or even register when it is. I'm there. I say it out and say, hey, listen, members, this is when it's 28. This is on the 29th. This is on the 30th. And so we've got the entire drive. Make them, you know, so they, they wake up and say like, wow, I've got the presiding officer interested in me sitting in the office. I says, look at the nuggets of information. I'm so glad that this was traded. These are tricks of the trade. It does help. And that's all about the communication and obviously the leadership skills. In that five to seven minutes, you set your mark. Fair enough. Okay, fine. We did come into the Toastmaster today, Amruta. That is a great theme. Women and financial uh, planning and literacy. And I was saying like, and my, my pockets are still on before the women come in and knock off, you know, and make holes in my pockets. <laughs> but fair enough. 
Uh, what you did does strike in there. It's just about the gender equality at this point of time, and particularly talking about getting into the habit of financial. I have to introduce you to my mother. She's fast asleep right now. She stays with me. She's like 92. She's nearing 92. Financial, yesterday she was talking about it and she's saying like Bank of Baroda just gives me 7.23 and ICICI gives me 7.58. I don't want to put in there. I'm like, excuse me, mom, you're still interested at 92. You're still onto it. But that's it. She is like the pillar and she keeps talking about uh, everything in the newspaper and she networks till 1.30 in the morning. She's with whole of USA and Canada with all the relatives. She's the eldest in the family and she works on that. Financial security, we absolutely bask in her and we say, that's your time. I'm glad that she's in there. Okay, fine. So um, Amruta, you did hit in there. That's the topical, which is absolutely comes in. And I think you great, gave some great pointers about the health insurance, relate the story and make women financially stabilized in there uh, and getting the financial liberty and the freedom, absolutely top notch. Great stuff in there. Okay, fine. I wish at one point of time, uh, during uh, when you were talking about pointers, where was it you, in which part did you benefit personally? When that is traded, immediately people in the room understand from where you come in and the credibility of the speaker rises because then you say it's like, I was financially instable until I went into the Provident Fund. This is what I did five years down the line. You're talking about yourself. So we are testimony to your testimony, and that absolutely takes it to a different level. All right, okay, great. Yes, timer, Monica, as I said earlier, smile. The R counter, great stuff you had in there. The, the next time which is there is that very quickly say, okay, tuck, 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 tuck. This is how it's been done. And the grammarian uh, with the good language that you had, uh, you mentioned out, okay, fine. I was hoping that you would correct a lot of people in the room say, uh, opportunity. It's sorry, it's opportunity. Copper, opera. Copper, opera. Opportunity. Fair enough. Okay. Let's have the speaker. Speaker Sanjeev, a problem is an opportunity. I, I love the word when you said uh, my math mathematics Greek and uh, you were grappling, uh, sorry, you were grappling with your stuttering, how to deal with it. I salute you. Absolutely. Because you have the guts and I think you fit into this. Uh, into this, which has always influenced my life. And it says, don't limit your challenges, challenge your limits. And that's you. You're the testimony in there. Hats off to you. Thank you. Thank you. Speaker number two is uh, Kishore. Comfortable, comfortable zone. Fine. And he says is, um, you know, I need to have knowledge. Knowledge is important, but if I'm not able to articulate it, and so he says, is like, now you know why I joined Toastmasters? That's it. I want to articulate, man, you'll be flooring a lot of your people in your building very soon with the way that you speak in there. And I'm glad you stepped out of your comfortable zone. Keep it up. Great. Uh, Swati, my twist with public speaking, uh, self-discipline. I, I love that. Um, I loved your humility. You said you had a joke and nobody laughed. I did that. Years and years ago, my first, jo uh, my first joke flopped on my face. And that's where I learned that Toastmasters respect people, even if your jo joke falls flat, people still clap on the planet. Whoever ever claps, if somebody, you normally boo. In Toastmasters, different world altogether. You're in the right place. Okay, great. Uh, just remember, end it on a strong note. Okay, fine. We've got a speaker number four, Mithali. Never give up, Mithali. Oh, man. Can you imagine? Forget whatever you had, you're plugging in in between. But that confidence in you, man, 25 years ago when I first joined in there, I didn't even reach one tenth of what you are and your place. Man, you've really knocked the socks out of me. The way you put it out in there, I try and I try. I absolutely admire your tenacity. Keep that chin up. Great stuff. Okay, great. Okay, we've had the table topics. Uh, Sanjeev, uh, Sanjeev was the first one in there. Uh, marginalized, nice thought to you. A context of women, glad. Uh, two, Sunesh, the rise of women. You had this uh, humor in there, which has got three idiots. And I knew I was one of the three idiots in the room because they give us a lot of, yeah, nice opening. And I love the gratitude. Anjali, influential women. You were analytical and you were informative. Keep it up. Snehil, general equality body, so-and-so. 
You said uh, the men and women in my family and they've got ego issues. You're telling me all of us have got ego issues in our family. You hit the spot right in there. Uh, that was me. The fifth one, if you educate, you get educated. I was happy that Patsy educated me. And then uh, Shubham, an investment. Shubham, no problems. I, I was like you once upon a time. Even I got stuck. And there was a mental block. No hassles. Toastmasters is, in, is here absolutely to pull you out in there. The next time you come in, just a piece of advice. Concentrate on yourself and your subject. And you're bound to succeed. Take a deep breath and say, excuse me, can I read this again? Uh, this is the topic. No problem. You keep fishing for that topic. And as those little thoughts come in, speak it out. Uh, Cyril, of course, behind every successful man, there is a... Uh, so, so, you no, know, he said behind. For me, behind every successful man, there is a woman. And if you want to increase your success, you increase the number of women. But I love the storytelling part of it. The family, symbiotic relationships, you hit it. Absolutely good. And Kalpana in investment, man, Kalpana, you're after my heart. My son says like that, you're wise. I tell him what wise. I've, I've got wisdom now. Wise is thrown out of the window. It's wisdom. So it clicked in there. And I think you made a lot of sense when you explained on that one. Great. Without prejudice. Okay. Without prejudice, without malice, people, I must tell you is one of the things is that uh, anytime there's an interruption, let the general evaluator step in. The general evaluator is the auditor of the entire meeting. And it's always a prerogative of the general evaluator to step in and say, fine, that's the reason why I had to step in at one point of time. It's a learning process. And I had to tell the Toastmasters of the day that it's not necessarily to keep on repeating the same because it's three speakers. And probably the first speaker, the first evaluator forgot to actually read out the purpose of the speech. Okay, fine. Uh, then we had um, uh, poll said, uh, please do the polling after each session. You must do that because you're taking the power away of a potential speaker because at the end of the meeting, there are too many people who have influenced that with some point of time. And especially we always tell the table topic master, be, be generous with whatever you're speaking but be generous with the same adjectives. If you give a descriptive, you're influencing people by talking about one particular person and talking about the entire speech, what is spoken there. Remember, you're in a position to influence words. As a table topic master, I would refrain from commenting on any person's speech. If I did comment to help them out, I'd say, that was a wonderful speech. Second speaker, that was a wonderful speech. Second, third speaker, that was a wonderful speech. If the fourth speaker said that was a fantastic, first, second speaker would say, like, excuse me, fantastic. Why was I not fantastic? I hope you understand. It's the psyche of things. And this is without prejudice, without malice to anybody in the room. Right? Okay, fine. If there's anybody else that I've missed out, uh, please, if it was intentional and unintentional, you can kill me after the meeting. But till then, let me finish off my job. I think I've covered everyone. I'm glad that I was invited in here. Uh, Kalpana, I'm so glad with the privilege and the recognition that I have. I had a great time. I picked up a lot from the icebreaker speakers and even the evaluators and the table topics. Man, it was about women, yes. women, women for once. And yeah, it was all about women and women and women. And thank you for reminding us that women is the backbone of the society. We always tend to lean on them as much as they lean on us. Good luck, good cheer, good evening. And over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, General Evaluator, Distinguished Toastmaster Lancy. So my final remarks on the theme is I have only one last message for you all. Ki stay updated and stay informed. Just ask questions to your family member. What kind of investment you did? Their time horizon of that investment. Do you keep in do you keep nominee in that investment? If I required money, so how can I withdraw from that investment? So these are all the uncomfortable questions to ask, but it is necessary. And financial literacy is not only for women, but also a need of an hour of men also. So 
on this note i conclude my uh, theme today and fellow toastmaster and guest it has been a pleasure to serve as toastmaster this evening i hope you have enjoyed uh, enjoyed the meeting on that note a big thanks to all of you for being here today and making this meeting a success uh, it's time for awards now i would like to hand over the station to our presiding officer toastmaster kalpana thank you thank you so much amrita for making us financially independent today it has been a wonderful and an enlightening session let's move on to the awards Toastmaster Monica, before we declare the other winners, I would like you to put the poll across for the best role players. The next best auxiliary role players. And now it is time to declare results. Sa, let me know when they are ready. Monica, when the certificates are ready, do let me know. In the meantime, we all have two minutes to interact with each other. And uh, I would like Cyril to tell me something as to what did he think about this meeting. I'm glad you're here, Cyril. It was a lovely meeting. I mean, uh, any you. meeting when there are there are new members speaking is always a great meeting to attend. Uh, yes. Great energy, great. I love your presidential address. It's something that we all should remember in these times is indeed uh, uh, talking about the Toastmasters magazine as well as eloquence. Yeah. Uh, eloquence, we all remember to talk about it maybe in April, but the Toastmasters magazine and especially for all the new members, yeah. this is a gold mine that's not available if you attend as guests. It's a yes. lot of relevant information there and do, do ensure you. that you go through the uh, yes. the back issues as well yeah, <laughs> being there. yes because i think i really want there are certain writers i realized as the speeches were going on or when i was interacting with them so i thought if there is anybody who would like to contribute towards uh, you know uh, the magazine it is the right time for me to inform them about it thank I you so much just one last point Hats yes. to Monica for managing timer and Zoom master and doing yes. a fabulous job. And that, yes. that combo is always difficult. Hats off to you, Monica, for doing yeah. that. She has been like my right hand uh, person uh, because we have gone through lots of ups and downs. I think her unstinting support that she has given me throughout and also the club it has helped right. us to keep steady. And right. I think all of us have become an expert in juggling various roles now and Monica more so. In fact, I had to now tell her to, you know, start uh, distributing the roles when I was saying, okay, now give it to, because we have got members. So, okay, let's Sabi Kishore and let it go to other people so that now, now you ha have a sigh of relief here, you know. But yes, she is great at what she does. Um, yeah. Monica, are they ready? We'll be interacting at the cafe. If they are ready, we will give the certificates now. All right, the best table topics goes to DTM Lancy. Congratulations. Congratulations. Can you someone spotlight DTM Lancy and let us take a photograph? Zoom master, kindly highlight DTM Lancy, please. I think he's left the room. He has left. Okay. We will uh, pass it on to him in that case. Let us move on to the next winner of the day. Best role player auxiliary is Toastmaster Shweta. Toastmaster Shweta, congratulations. That was an excellent role. And the Thank report you, was very detailed, actually. So that helped us a lot. Kindly highlight Toastmaster Shweta and please take a photo. Zoom Master Monica.
Is it done? All right. We move on to the next winner of the day. The best role player again goes to DTM to Lance. And I'm afraid he's not here, but Monica, I would remind you to kindly send both the certificates over to him. All right, we'll share it. Congratulations. Best evaluator goes to Toastmaster Cyril. Thank you, Cyril, so much for that evaluation. Please highlight Toastmaster Cyril and let's have a photograph, please. Done? All right. We now move on to the next winner. And that is, let's see the certificate. Best speaker goes to Toastmaster Swati. Congratulations, Toastmaster Swati. That was wonderful. It had humor, so it had interaction, and I'm sure Toastmaster Sanish is going to be extremely happy about his protege today. <laughs> Thank you so Great. much. Great. You're welcome. Uh, I think table topic, uh, all uh, or everything is done, right, Monica? Monica, yes. Yes, it is done. It's done. With this, I declare the meeting number 93 of Speakers Community Toastmasters Club a close.